Hello friends and welcome to story time today. Today I've got a book that is one of my favorites for when I'm having a really cranky day. You know, some days we're just cranky. It happens. So I'm going to share that one with you. But first, if you have any stuffed animals that you'd like to grab to join us, we I've got mine here. Feel free to go grab one. Or if you have any a parent or a sibling that wants to join. And let's get those hands all warmed up for our welcome song. You ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Okay, so the book that I have to share with you is called The Bad Moon and the Stick. It's by Lemony Snicket and the art is by Matthew Forsythe. And it says, this bad mood belongs to, I guess it belongs to the library on this one. <laughs> oh, nice kitty. The bad mood and the stick. Once there was a stick and a bad mood. The stick was on the ground. And the bad mood was with a girl named Curly. Mm, looks like she's got curly hair. Curly had been with the bad mood for two hours since she had seen an ice cream store and but hadn't gotten any ice cream. The stick had been on the ground since last night when the tree dropped it. Hmm, there's her bad mood and her thinking. And they're just looking at that stick. Hmm. Curly picked up the stick and used it to poke her brother. That's not nice, said her mother. Apologize to Napoleon and throw the stick in the bushes. Hmm. Hmm. Curly had really enjoyed poking her brother, Napoleon, so much that her bad mood was gone. Her mother was carrying it now. Harumph, she said, which is a bad mood noise. The stick didn't say anything. Do we see mom holding the bad mood? Bad mood looks very upset. Even when a raccoon picks up the stick, who knows what the raccoon wanted to do with the stick? But he ran out of the bushes and frightened an old man named Lou. Holy moly, said Lou which is what he always said when something exciting happened and his feet did a little dance and he fell into a puddle. Curly's mother couldn't help herself and started to laugh. Her bad mood was gone. Lou had it. Hmm. The sound of all that laughter startled the raccoon and he dropped the stick in the mud. Look at my pants, Lou said, which was his bad mood noise. They're a, they're a muddy, awful mess. The stick didn't answer. Lou went right to the dry cleaners. A lady named Mrs. Durham was head of the establishment with a pencil behind her ear. Take that pencil out of your ear, said Lou. You gotta wash these pants and wash them quick. I'll stand around here in my underwear until you're done. You will do no such thing, Mrs. D said Mrs. Dunham. Excuse me. This is a family place. But Lou already had his pants off. Here you go. They're a muddy, awful mess, he said. Ugh said Mrs. Durham, looking at the pants and looking at Lou, and you would think that the bad mood would have moved onto her. Hmm. But it didn't. She took one look at Lou in his underwear, and the bad mood flew right out the window. You never know what is going to happen. Something with the stick. You would never guess, but some kind of bug made a brightly colored cocoon on it. Well, look at that, said Bert, and picked it up to look at it better. That's pretty neat. Who has the bad mood now? 
is that does that cat have it at the moment? He took it back to his ice cream store and put it on display. That's sure unusual, said Curly's mother when they walked by. What do you say, kids? Let's all have some ice cream. Curly had fudge ripple and Napoleon had mint chip. Curly's mother ordered vanilla yogurt, but then she changed her mind and had fudge ripple too. This didn't bother Bert. The bad mood was nowhere to be found. By the time Lou arrived with his pants all clean and pressed, he wanted a double scoop and so did Mrs. Durham. Holy moly, Lou said, do I love ice cream? Mrs. Durham smiled. Same here, she said. And three years later, they were married. The wedding was right there in the park and everyone in this book was invited, including us. Even the raccoon, Curly, and Napoleon carried the flowers. And they did great. You never know what is going to happen. By then, the bad mood had been all around the world. You, yourself, had it several times. Hmm. See, look at all the people and the little creatures and animals that had this bad mood. Yeah. The stick, however, stayed in the ice cream store. The cocoon had opened a long time ago and Bert had helped a bug fly out into the world. But the skip stick he kept right there, it put him in a good mood. <gasps> Look at all that ice cream, she's got three scoops. <gasps> uh-oh, she dropped the ice cream. Is that a bad mood lurking around the corner? I think it is. The ends. I think that one is just a really good book for explaining. You know, sometimes we're just upset. We're in a bad mood, but it doesn't last forever. And just like that bad mood, it goes around the world and we all have it sometimes. That's okay. Next, I've got some poems from this wonderful poetry book. And it is National Poetry Month. We've got lots of poetry books upstairs for all ages. So come check them out if you would like. But first, let's read some of these. This is from Poems Aloud. Say how you feel. The emotion in your voice helps the audience know how the poem should make them feel. Hmm. Change your tone and try and show your different emotions as you read these. Do you think you guys could do the same thing at home? Hmm. Try out your voice in these different emotions like I do after the poem. When I'm sad, it feels like the sky is crashing down, like the oceans are rising and the ground is swallowing me up. All is dark and cold. Hmm. How about this one? When I'm nervous, it feels like my heart is going lightning strike out of my chest, like my skin is raining, like my belly is a mudslide. Very true. How about this one? When I'm happy, my cheeks feel like rosebuds. My tummy glows with sunlight. My shoulders are a forest breeze. When I'm angry, my body is rock. My face is wet clay. Meteorites inhabit my fists. My voice is all smoke and fire. Hmm. What about this one? When I'm excited, my toes are ants. I'm a river bubbling and an air current of wishes. My smile could explode the sun. Oh, those are some very good emotions and we feel lots more. We feel all of these and lots more, but it is fun to try hearing your voice and seeing how your voice changes based on what your mood is. Very nice. Well, thank you guys for joining us today and we'll see you next time at story time oh there goes our book you guys want to do our goodbye song together let's warm up those hands very nice we're gonna go goodbye friends 
Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, friends. <laughs>